Meet Donnie. He likes bunnies. He's driving us to the Castro so we can greet people. This is Kirk. He's a body story expert and Donnie's husband. They run a gay men's spiritual healing organization called the Flesh and Spirit Community. Welcome everybody. Hi. Uh, well, here, what's that? We were at first intrigued by the strange nature of what they do in the community until we discovered a particular practice they do outside of it, the Order of the Pink Velvet Ears. We never expected to get involved at the level that we did. There you go, you all pink up. Perfect. I just blurted it out. I just came up to him, as I remember, and just said, I said, baby, we should get dressed up as pink bunnies and go out and greet people. <laughs> just like that. I, I usually don't blink at anything that he has to say. Uh, probably a couple times I have in our relationship where I've just kind of... Okay. Although my beloved is used to hearing a lot of strange things come out from my mouth, he, he paused. What's that look like? What's that feel like? What's the agenda? What are you asking me? You know? Um, but once I got mo moved beyond it, it was just like, oh, okay. He did go down and get us these pink bunny outfits. And so we put them on. We were dressed up as pink bunnies. And we went down to the, to the castor area where they're kind of ready for this type of thing and we greeted people. And we would just stand there and wave at people dressed as pink bunnies. You know, as a child, I always felt that I was different from everyone. And then uh, in my 20s when I came out, I thought, oh, now I'm gonna be in a, in a gay world. I live here, I'm gonna come up to San Francisco and I'm not gonna feel so different. And I was so disappointed. <laughs> because I found, I found out that I still was different and I found out that I was double queer meaning that even for the queer people I'm queer so my gift being, being the outsider being the one who doesn't fit in being the one who doesn't feel like he's a part of anything my sure. gift then is to welcome people one of the people who does the bunny said to me, I was telling him about this, and he says, well, you didn't fit anywhere, so you made your own party. You really <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's true, I have to say. There were these two homeless men that I had seen walk through the Castro, never together. When I had seen them in the past, they, they're usually quite agitated, sometimes even feeling rather violent. And so I would oftentimes make sure if I saw one of them, I'd go and walk on the other side of the street. So here we are waving as pink velvet or greeters and we're looking directly into their faces and, and engaging them with, hi, good to see you. And, and they stopped in the middle of the street and they started jumping up and down and hopping. And they said, oh, look at the bunnies. And they, they, what broke my heart open was I had never seen these men with any kind of joy ever in 15 years. We heard this story and many others like it. These stories caused us to realize the impact of what the bunnies do. So we decided to experience it for ourselves. So this initiation um, really just consists of me telling you some stories. And the first one that I've told you about has been being down in Laguna Beach and finding it about, uh, out about someone called the Greeter, who was an old man who stood by the side of the road. And he would, his whole program was to stand there and to greet people, just wave at them. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. If I should call you up, invest in dying, and you say you belong to me, and he's my mind. Imagine how the world could be so very. And uh, 20 years later, when I was there, 
20 years later after his death, people still remembered him and talked about him. Because what he had done was so profound, very simple yet profound. All he did was greet people and acknowledge their presence. Donnie told us that sometimes, when walking down the street, he wonders why strangers are smiling at him, and then realizes it's because he smiled at them first. Being a pink bunny isn't so much about the costumes as it is the mindset. What we found remarkable about Kirk and Donnie is that even after taking the costumes off, they still greet people with love. That's all the buddies understand is love. That's all they can do.